Hi guys, and welcome back to my floss tube channel. I'm Angie, and I'm here to talk about cross stitch. And surprise, it is a week since my last video. Maybe not even quite a full week. I can't remember what day I published the last video on YouTube, but here I am again. Um, I'm not sure if I will be able to film again before the first. My husband has some time off obviously for the holiday and I've got some projects for the house and other things going on plus it's gonna rain and I don't know how much stitching I'm gonna do and so I figured I got a bunch done this last week so I thought I'd share that with you really quick and again this one's gonna have to be a quick video due to the amount of storage space on my phone because I'm too lazy to go and factory reset and take all the time to make my phone work again so let's just get started. First, uh, no acquisitions, although I am antsy to buy something. I don't know what. Um, so I don't have anything that I'm buying yet, but I'm, I'm itching to buy something. So don't be surprised if in the future I've got some new needle minders or a new bag or something. I don't know. So no acquisitions. Um, so I guess we'll just get on to what I started stitching and we will go ahead and start with dog hair. Dog hair people, dog hair. It's crazy. Uh, red, white, and blue. Um, I don't have anything white to hold up behind it so you can see through it. Hello. Uh, red, white, and blue. Uh, you can see there. All I have left is to say bloom, a few starbursts, and some back stitching for this portion of it. And then there's just four more to go. <laughs> remember, do you guys remember back in May when I said this was gonna be my focus for uh, June so that I could have it ready for the 4th of July? How many of you believe that I actually would? Not me. So. <laughs> And the other one that's similar, it's um, Brenda Gervais. Uh, it's called uh, uh, Jack O' Lantern Jubilee, and it's it's a similar thing where they have a bunch of tiny patterns for Halloween that I'm gonna have to go buy and say I'll have done by Halloween. But y'all know me; it won't get done by then. I get a lot done. I just I'm not very good at figuring out when. So I added. I think about 300 stitches to this believe it or not with all these little I mean that's a lot of stitching in there and the cute little eagles oh, they're so cute so I'm almost done with this portion and then I've got four others and all of them are smaller than this as far as size but I think roughly the same amount of stitches in all of them so there's that one and then let's go ahead and talk dark queen because I'm almost done with dark queen not that that says much because there's still a lot left. So here's where I'm at now. Um, all of this, is it all of that? Yeah, I wanna say this because I think all of this part here was last month. So all of this, and then I've gotta bring it up and I think it curves around behind here and then comes up over here. Uh, I re I finished redoing this. The coral that was over here was off just enough that I, I frogged that yesterday. So I've got to redo the coral. But because the coral is part of a previous section, I may not try to finish the coral that I have frogged before the next part drops. I might add that in at the end of the next part because I don't think there's a whole lot of stitching left on this. Um, I don't know if the top of the trident is off. I'm afraid to find out. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna finish this part and do as much as I can here, and then I'm gonna fudge it because I don't wanna restitch the rest of the trident. So as long as it doesn't look terrible, I think I'm gonna fudge it and cross my fingers that the next section does not require any fancy doodling through the trident. So, so many stitches. So many stitches so far on this part. So many stitches left. But I'm getting there. I'm getting there. Um, and you know what? Just because I haven't looked at her full glory in a little while, let's take a peek at how good she looks right now. So here we are. 
Isn't that awesome? That's a lot of stitching that's gone into this. And we're almost at the year mark. And this was so much fun to break this up over a year's worth of time. Although I do feel like they saved the, the largest parts for last, <laughs> except the hair. The hair was incredibly time consuming to do. So there we are. She's getting close. I think the next part, if I remember the outline on the cover photo correctly, I think it comes over on this side. So I think if I can fudge the trident, it should be fine. And then I think the last part will just be adding all of the jewels in that are required. So there's Dark Queen. She is looking fancy. I'm going to work on her some more tonight while I rewatch some of my Criminal Minds episodes because I like that. All right, last that I worked on, I'm going to show part of it first and then the other part. So I pulled out Avatar Alphabet and I got Katara done and Katara, K for Katara. And I actually, <laughs> so this one you'll notice these aren't lined up, but that's on purpose because, oh, sneaking a peek. Um, that's on purpose. So the top two line up, the middle section has an extra person in it. And so she is, they're all gonna be slightly off center. And then the bottom two lines, two rows will line up with this one. And so what I ended up doing is I ended up counting over and then I miscounted thinking this was this line, not this, not the back line. And so I, I did this and then I counted over and started stitching her right here and messed up. And so I had to frog her. Do you guys like how often I have to frog things because I don't count twice and then stitch once? You know, in woodworking, they always say measure twice, cut once. You'd think I would have learned by now. No. So, um, but it, it wasn't. I hadn't gotten much done in there and I hadn't done all of this. I'd just done this line. So I got it all figured out, made it work. Then we've got Momo, the lemur Momo. Now, for anybody who's new here and who hasn't seen me from the beginning when I started working on Avatar Alphabet, this is from Pixelman um, on Etsy and it's the Avatar Alphabet, obviously, and I love Avatar. However, I felt several key characters were not included in their version, and so I charted my own. Uh, for example, Azula. Azula is a pretty main character throughout the entire series, and she is not in here. Ty Lee is not in here, but May was. May and Ty Lee were Azula's best friends. They had May in here, but not Azula, which I can, you know, they put Aang for A, so where were they gonna put Azula? Um, that didn't sit well with me. And so I went through and I charted the characters that I felt deserved to be in the pattern. I charted them myself and added them in. Um, this uh, is Appa, obviously. Appa starts with A. So for F, I have the flying bison, Appa. I charted him and added him in here. And for uh, L, I have the lemur, Momo. And so I charted Momo. Uh, he was a little bit more difficult because he has these little fluid arm thingies and trying to get the colors right. And his eyes are particularly interesting. I think Momo looks like Momo. I think it, it turned out well. I probably could have moved him over more, but he was a challenge just in himself because when I, when I chart these guys, I just chart them. And then when I start stitching, I start messing with the colors, which maybe I should mess with the colors beforehand. But if I'm stitching, I can see what's, what's going wrong. And I'm excited because I love Avatar and this will go in our TV room when we're done. Um, I'm, I'm the, the artist who creates the Pixel Man artist who creates these has a horror movie one that I want to buy next and work on. But I want to try to um, change some of the horror movie monsters to ones from shows that I've seen. Uh, the problem is, is there's not that many that can, like um, Pinhead is in there. 
I've never seen that movie. I don't ever plan to see that movie. So I'm trying, so I would replace it with Pennywise the Clown because I love the movie It, uh, the 1990 version. I haven't actually seen the newer version. I should, I should, but I like the 1990 version because I, I really enjoy um, Stephen Curry. Stephen Curry, is that his name? I can't remember. My brain farts sometimes, you know, brain fart. Um, but some of the other people on that are ones um, that I don't really care for, like Jigsaw. And so I'm trying to find or think of other horror or thriller movie characters that I could replace them with. And it's a lot harder than I thought it would be. It was easier to do the Avatar one. And then I was also thinking, because he does say that if you write to him and ask him to, he can create ones because he does bands and everything. Um, and I was very tempted to see if he could put together a Buffy alphabet. And I mean, I would even, I, I th I'm pretty sure I have a whole bunch of lists of names of the, of the people in their alphabet spot and I could even send that to him. So I may do that just for the fun of it because that was fun. So anyway, that's all I've worked on this week. I still have about 200 stitches to put into Middle Earth so I can get uh, at least one entry in Semi Sane's focus piece. I have not, so I've got to, I've got to, in the next three days, I've got to put about 200 stitches in that, which shouldn't be hard, but I really want to get Dark Queen finished because I have not missed a deadline on Dark Queen yet. And then I think next week, when I have time, I will probably work on my laundry trio and the red, right, red, white, and bloom ones. And I might pull out Seeds of Freedom. I started that one, or I picked that one up last year for the 4th of July-ish time frame. So I might pull that out. And then I'm gonna be working on doing a stash dive to just kind of go through everything that I have. Uh, my husband's going to be taking about two weeks off, which will be the first vacation time he has taken in probably two years. That doesn't count like holidays that he automatically gets off. I'm talking actually taking vacation. And I think we're going to try and drive around and explore Virginia and explore some of the places around Virginia. So if anybody has any information about some really awesome areas to go, I think we're thinking of Jamestown and Williams for sure but uh, we just we don't know the area very well we've already seen um, stuff in DC so um, we'd rather not go up into there but you know we were thinking oh well, maybe Gettysburg or I don't know so any thoughts of some fun family fun places that we could go to we're looking for day trips or overnight trips anything like that so any suggestions I'm always happy to get them we went to New Mexico for a trip and a friend of ours that lived in New Mexico told us a plow about a place called Meow Wolf, which we'd never heard of before. And it turned out to be this really awesome museum style thing that was like a mystery. And if, if you've never heard of it, you've got to look it up. There's, I think there's one in Las Vegas as well. And it was the coolest thing. We never would have even thought to go to something like that because had it just popped up on an internet search, we wouldn't have. But he, he had said, it's really awesome, you should go. We did, and it was really awesome. Um, hiking is always an option, although we don't have stuff for camping, so we need to do like hotel stays because we're not super camping people. Although I think we kind of would, we're like the people that wish we could be camping people. <laughs> but we don't have a trailer. We do have tents. We could potentially camp out with tents. I don't know if we'd want to I don't know I don't know anyway so stitching might be hit or miss over the next couple weeks depending on our travel plans and whatever is gonna happen for the 4th of July because we're not we're not gonna go into DC for that because the idea of all those people kind of scares me but we did finally we were able to talk to our vet and we got some sedatives for our dog because thunderstorms and fireworks really stress him out and he already has a heart condition so we're trying to keep that tame so we bought a thunder coat so that when we have thunderstorms hopefully that will help to calm him and then the sedatives for the fourth of july and the day before and after so that in the evening hopefully he's not so i mean he he like crawls into the tightest spaces he can find and he's just shakes he just shakes he's terrified of the sound 
so we're not doing fireworks but we may want to like sit outside and see what neighbors are doing and kind of hopefully he's okay it'll be an interesting it'll be interesting we've never had a dog so afraid before but anyway that's my stitching I'm sorry this feels like a really rushed video it kind of is because I'm at the 18 minute mark and I'm afraid that I might not be able to save this to my phone so I'm gonna go now and I hope everybody out there has a fantastic 4th of July we are going to be celebrating our one year well I mean the kids and I have been in Virginia for a little over a year now um, we moved into our house on the 1st of July and my husband returned from his deployment on the 3rd of July and so we're we're filled with our our one years if you go back to my video at this time last year it has um, one of them will have the video of us showing up at our house for the first time and the other one is my husband returning from his year-long deployment which always makes me cry a little bit because that was that was tough <laughs> that was tough but we're all good and I cannot believe it's already been a year it's insane okay so I'm gonna go now everybody have a great week have a happy 4th of July and I will talk to you later bye